Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we need to talk about X-Tool. They just released the new X-Tool Metal Fab. Uh, what this is, is basically a smart laser um, CNC welding machine. So it's basically like a welding machine mixed with a CNC la uh, laser cutter um, all in one. So it's kind of like a dual unit. So you can do handheld uh, like welding and then you can use it like a CNC machine or like a laser engraver to cut out parts here. I'm going to share with you guys like a 30 or 40 second clip about what they have shared so far with the public here. Um, and then we're going to go jump over to their site and unpack all of this. I'm super excited about it. If you don't know, this is the F1 Ultra from X-Tool. This is probably one of my favorite machines out there just because I can crank designs out like nothing with this machine. Um, you can do coasters in a minute flat with this machine. Super cool. I always love X-Tools products. Um, I can't wait to see this in person. Um, hopefully I can see this in person. Uh, now there's a few things that we're going to talk about that you're going to run into with this as well. It's a little bit different than you're used to with regular laser engravers. And we'll dive into that here in just a moment. Uh, but with all that said, let's go ahead and watch that clip. And then I'll, I'll see you guys on their site and then we're going to talk about all of this and we're going to unpack it together. you guys so as you can see we are now on x tools website and this is where they have that clip that i just played um we're gonna re-go through this together now uh, so basically you can see the actual introduction of the machine here and this is the handheld laser here that will be um for welding or for the cnc machine this actually gets strapped into the machine here um so that is super cool looking handle and um gun here for that um, and then the other thing with this right here is I wonder how well this touch screen will actually work with welding gloves on and they show it in use with welding gloves. So I hope that works really well with that on. Um, that'll be surprising because usually you need like special gloves for that. And then um, the actual welding precision looks really good on this. Uh, it looks like it's giving a really nice weld, um, especially if you're like a beginner and you've never welded before. So um, the there's going to be a part coming up here. Yeah, like you have that rust removal here. This would be cool for tools. Uh, is it kind of a gimmick? Maybe, um, depending on how many tools you're really going to have rusty. But if you do get like rusty tools and you need that removed, yeah, go for it. Not a big deal. Um, and then uh, obviously you have your regular cutting, but underwater cutting, I, I'm not sure how often you would engrave underwater. Um, there may be uses for that depending on your certain situation, but if you're going to be doing th this in your home, not sure how often you'll be welding underwater in your home, um, but that's just something to keep in mind. And then right there is where you strap in that uh, that actual laser head or in this case the laser gun that you use for welding by hand um, for the CNC here. And there's cutting out and then this smart avoidance here, I from my understanding of it, this is just kind of like a pre-programmed path that causes it to, to skip and jump those areas. Um, if I'm understanding that correctly, it's uh, not actually auto sensing this, but it does have like um, the ability to engrave over a warp as well. Um, so just keep that in mind. It can do like warped objects, kind of like what their S1 laser can do. So that's a cool um, option as well. So basically this is just um, trying to avoid anything that's gonna be flipping out of this section here. Next up, you do have your uh, dual camera lens here. So the dual camera lens basically will automatically plot out your like SVG file or whatever type of file this is going to use. I would assume it'd still be like an SVG file. And then it'll auto plot that out even if you have 
items missing or pre-cut out on that sheet. So a super cool feature to have for sure. And then there is the overall look of the CNC and then the handheld uh, laser unit there. So combined, um, this is overall a really cool looking item. So let's go ahead and scroll down and you can kind of see some of this stuff on their site here. But some of this stuff that you can make is going to be awesome. Like, can you imagine making a fire pit like that? Um, just to have chilling outside that, that would be awesome. Um, and then you have, uh, basically some different functionalities, uh, that'll, that they're showing here. You can, you can look this all up yourself, but basically what I want to do is I want to get down to like the different types of material you can cut. So you can do like stainless steel, aluminum, carbon steel, titanium, copper, uh, nickel uh, alloy and uh, galvanized sheets, um, etc. So there's plenty of different materials you can do with this that your regular plasma cutter would kind of struggle with. So that's the benefit of this machine here. Um, they also have in here that you can weld up to the uh, five millimeters. And I think that's like hand welding here. And then the CNC, since you're stabilized, you can cut up to 10 millimeter thick material so that's going to be a uh, pretty thick material for metal i we can't even touch metal with our regular laser engravers so that that's that's amazing um and when i say i can't touch metal you can't even cut through the metal very well even with our fiber lasers uh so this is going to be amazing uh to have and then the fact that it will automatically scan your material for you and you can have precision um alignment to cut this out is going to be super cool versus you doing it all by hand. The fact that they could combine both of these by hand and by um, CNC machine is a cool a feature as well. Um, but let's scroll down here and see the actual features and specs here. So they actually have two different units. They have a 1200 watt and an 800 watt unit here. You can freeze frame at any point that you wanna read over anything. I'm gonna just kinda highlight some areas that I find interesting. Um, like I said, the material themselves, um, this is going to be able to do more materials than regular plasma cutters with uh, like cleaner cuts um, versus like having like slabs of material kind of fall off. Um, something that you do want to notate, uh, this does use nitrogen or argon. So you have both options there. And then um, you will need a 220 uh, volt um, power adapter here. So you may have to do like a special um, power adapter for your wall outlet. I actually put one in my basement here recently where you see me at the beginning of the video. So if I end up getting one, that's probably where I'll end up being at. <laughs> that or out in the shop. I got a 220 volt out there as well. But um, keep that in mind. That's gonna be a, a super big importance here. One other thing that was kind of um, that you don't take into consideration with this is um, you need to think of the cost of the materials. When we're switching to metal, this is gonna be significantly more expensive than the uh, sheets of wood that we're used to. So you're gonna have to get used to that. Um, so just make sure you're covering all your costs. When you're going to something this big, which I'm sure is gonna be kind of expensive, but they haven't released the actual pricing yet. Um, I'm going to take a guess that they're going to do anywhere from like uh, 5000 to 8000 maybe $10,000 on this. But if you get all three machines, uh, like the rust removal tool, the welder, and the CNC all separately, you're probably looking at $30,000 worth of equipment. So you're getting this uh, significantly cheaper and that's just my assumption. They haven't really released the statement of what they're going to be releasing yet. I think that will come out in a few days here. So keep keep your eye out for that. Um, I'll go ahead and put some links down in the description below once I can uh, for the pre-sale here. Um, and then if you're interested in getting one of these, just use that link in the description below. But uh, with all that said, you can pause and, and check out all these specs. I don't want to bore you guys with this. I think you can get the gist of this. Works just like a laser engraver, except it's like a CNC. Here's your area here is 24 by 24. Um, so you can actually get up to like 24 inch sheets. So a pretty decent size, a little bit bigger than a Glowforge on just regular width, but then you get the same length there. 
And then um, here's some more specs for you. You can pause anytime that you want. Um, and then the overall dimensions here um, is of the unit. I don't know if this is showing the dimensions of just the actual um, welding unit or the CNC machine, but um, that's what they're stating here on the site here. I think you guys get the gist of it. Overall, I just wanted to show you a quick rundown of this and my thoughts on it. This is gonna be a really cool thing to expand um, your working um, range if you're into laser engraving into metal. This will probably be the cheapest option out there to get all of these different options here, whether it's like cleaning rust off of stuff. Like I said, that that I don't know how often you're really gonna be cleaning rust off of stuff. <laughs> Might be kind of a gimmick, but the laser welding to weld actual material together and CNC cutting is going to be some of the coolest things I've ever seen um, when it comes to like the laser engraving industry because they're kind of mixing everything together lately, especially with like their uh, new apparel machine that they came out with. Um, I'd recommend you checking that out too if you haven't checked that out. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any questions that I might be able to answer, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you and we'll catch you guys in the next one.